Hi, in this video we're going to show you the new Windows 11 dictation with punctuation feature. So the dictation feature has been around already in Windows 10 where you could have uh, have a type which you're speaking via your microphone. But with Windows 11 they added some punctuation features to kind of help make it a little easier. So let's see, we have this uh, notepad thing here right now. So if we do Windows key plus H, we bring up the microphone. But as you can see, it just continues on like it's one sentence without adding punctuation. Maybe if I say add a period to the end of it, period. Or we could say, is this a question, question mark? But it'd be nice to be able to do this without having to say the punctuation or, and also to have it capitalize the words as we go along here. Okay, so we're going to delete this here. Then we're going to go into the settings here. So there's the auto punctuation. So we turn that on. And then there's this voice typing launcher, which will kind of give you a little thing down here so you don't have to do the control H every time. So we'll turn that on. And let's click off it here. So now you can see when we type in or click in the, in the box here, it brings this thing up automatically. And now, so let's see what happens here. Now we are going to try the auto punctuation feature. Can I ask a question? As you can see, it's adding the punctuation as we go along. If you just pause after a sentence, it will know and put a period at the end. And if you ask a question, it will put a question mark. And you can see it capitalizes the first word after it makes a new sentence. But if you want to add something like an exclamation point, you will still need to do it because it doesn't know if you are getting excited or angry. So if I go, this is making me mad, exclamation point. Now you can see it puts the punctuation there. Anyway, so as you can see, um, it's much better with the uh, auto punctuation enabled. And this is kind of neat too. So if you use this feature a lot, then you could just uh, turn this on. And then every time you click in a box, it'll bring up the little guy there. And you could go from there. And then you could still, you know, turn this off if you want to just, you know, if it's bugging you, that type of thing. So anyways, like I said, Windows key plus H will bring it up to start with. And then you could uh, go from there and check the options and try it out and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.